So before I begin, I would like you to give this a go yourself. Remember I said on the previous video, what you're looking for is to get rid of items which aren't going to be needed where the rules are going to be, or should we say the conditions and the rules are repeated to give you the same outcome when you get onto the redundancy part. So give this a go first, pause the video, and then I'm going to share the solution and talk you through it. Okay, so if they've got a yes in computer science, it means they can pick, they can pick computer science. We've also got yes and math, so can do math, and we've got yes and physics, so they can do physics. Because we've got a C in computer science, they can do computer science. They can also do uh, maths, because they've got a C in maths. But they can't do physics, because they haven't got a grade C in it, so I'm going to leave it blank. Not needed. Because they've got a yes in computer science, I'm going to give them that. Now, in order to do physics, you need to have a grade C in computer science and a grade C in math. They don't have a grade C in math, therefore they can't do physics, even though they got a yes for grade C in physics. So I'm going to leave it like this. Just computer science here. Now, with this one, they can do computer science if you've got a grade C in maths or a grade C in computer science. So whilst they haven't got computer science, they do get it in maths. And because we've got maths and science here, they can do that as well. Didn't get computer science, but got maths and didn't get physics. So they can do computer science and they can do maths. Didn't get computer science, didn't get maths, so therefore they can't do any of this, and they can't do any of that either, so I'm going to leave it blank. Now, when it comes to redundancies, what we're going to look at is the following. As this is the same for rules 1, 2, 3, 4, meaning that for computer science, It has an impact there. That basically means we can simplify this, this relationship with computer science and computer science here by simply doing, well done, you got seen computer science. It doesn't matter what you got in maths. It doesn't matter what you got in science. You're doing computer science. So we just talked about that relationship there. So the next relationship we're going to talk about is maths. So in this bit here we've got yes for maths and we've got yes for computer science and yes for maths. It doesn't matter about science nor does it matter what they get in computer science. That's the rule for that. So for maths I can simply just do, where's my mouse? I keep losing it. There we go. Oops dash it doesn't matter what you get so dash it doesn't matter what you get in science in math if you get a c you can do if you want computer science you can do if you want maths the other combination which we can show is actually for the relationship of science and for science sorry physics i should say to do physics, it doesn't matter about computer science. It's irrelevant. But it does matter what you get in maths. And it does matter what you get in physics because of this beautiful and. So therefore, it doesn't matter what you get in computer science, even if you get a C grade, B grade, whatever. It makes no difference. We're talking about doing physics, so I'm going to put a Y here. And to do physics, all you need but what you have to have is that and that being a Y. And they're the only combinations which we need. We don't need this column here. Not needed. We've already discovered 
that in order to take maths, we just need this, where my mouse is. We don't need this, because it's irrelevant, because we talked about it. Here, that this is all you need to get to do science, is by having math and science. So we're testing for something, which we know is going to fail. Irrelevant. As is this one. We can just leave it blank.